My name is Raymond Convalius. I am a uh, IT infrastructure and security specialist from the Netherlands. I operate from Amsterdam and I usually get hired by multiple parties to help them to be more secure and implement modern technologies. I'm also the co-author of multiple books. I wrote a couple of books myself as well. And I work with Dr. Erdal Oskaya on some of those books. Currently, I'm also involved with a number of uh, podcasts. I create a podcast weekly for the Dutch uh, public. And I'm here to talk about cloud security. I also talked about the trends going on in cloud security. And what we see nowadays is that many companies are working towards what they call zero trust, which means that previously we were able to trust somebody because he was working at a certain office or he was able to provide his username and password. But one of those things is no longer enough. Nowadays with, single, with zero trust, you trust nothing. So a username and password is not enough. Add some extra security to it. Apply multi-factor authentication. Use an app or USB key to make sure that you are who you are. In the, in the zero trust principle, you also check if the workplace, the workstation that somebody is using is a trusted workstation. If it's not a workstation that's of the company or the organization that belongs to you, you don't trust it. You also check if that machine has the correct updates installed, if it has antivirus installed, if it's totally secure, so that you can make, can make sure that every, the whole package is complete and that you know, well, this is somebody I can trust who's working from a location I can trust. And you also check the identity. So for instance, if you already found out that the password has leaked of that identity, well, request to, to change the password, reset the password and make sure that this person has an extra opportunity to provide his or her credentials. And nowadays what you see is that uh, criminals are working together. So with criminals working together, you are fighting a group. Now, if you are on your own, it's hard to fight this, this whole group. So make sure that you collaborate with other people, other security specialists, other uh, larger entities that are able to put people together, to work together, to fight the whole group that we're currently fighting and being the cyber criminals. Those are a number of trends going on in cybersecurity that we have to look at and that we have to make sure that we cannot do it ourselves. We have to work together and we have to use the power of the cloud. For instance, Microsoft quite recently has published a uh, defense report uh, about how security is being managed in the cloud. And Microsoft on its own is currently analyzing 4.3 trillion signals per day to see what's going on in cybersecurity and who is doing what so that they can find out where to focus and what groups to battle to prevent their clients from being hacked. And you cannot do that by yourself. You need a large number of large, large data storage, large processing power, everything large to be able to analyze and work with such a large stream of information.